I have learned that um, the process, I think like this is the first time I've really enjoyed the process. Three seconds is just like, so the whole song, we, we, we do it right the whole song, so just constantly be like, yeah. until the end. Would you be able to write a hit song for a superstar artist like Bieber and be comfortable in knowing that some may not know who you are as the writer of the song, or would you not care? I think it's more of my responsibility to stay passionate about what I love and, and what I love to do. This is the story of Justin Bieber's secret weapon, John Bellion. Justin Bieber's last album, Justice, was a huge commercial success and well-received among his fan base and critics alike. Bieber's inspiration for this album came from his personal experiences during that time, and he wanted to make an album that would reflect things that he had learned about commitment and building trust. Bieber also stated to Zane Lowe that when there's so much wrong with this broken planet, we all crave healing and justice for humanity. In creating this album, my goal is to make music that will provide comfort, to make songs that people can relate to and connect to so they feel less alone. The album debuted on top of the Billboard 200 chart, selling 154,000 records in its first week and became Bieber's eighth number one album on the chart. And we can't forget the chart topping and catchy records from this album that include Peaches, Holy, and Ghost. However, few know that he worked with a very special person that was partially responsible for bringing this amazing album to the world and to Justin Bieber's fans. That person is John Bellion one of the industry's most talented secrets. How does one become so successful and receive the opportunity to work with Justin Bieber, you might ask? Well, it's Bellion's commitment to music and his passion. I think it's more of my responsibility to stay passionate about what I love and, and what I love to do. I have to remain passionate and explore. I have to do that for my, like for my sanity. What drew Justin Bieber to John Bellion, first and foremost? It was faith in a higher power that they both had in common. Do you believe God, the universe, had a role in bringing you together with John Bellion? Wow. Well, um, I had uh, this uh, mutual friend, Andrew Watt, who had said, hey, you guys are really similar and you guys share the same faith and I think you guys really connect. You know, I just resonated with his words so much. Second thing that caught Bieber's attention was Bellion's talent. He's just an extraordinary songwriter in every way, shape, and form. He just, the way he's able to articulate what he's feeling is it's just such a gift. And so the fact that he wanted to share that gift with me, mm. uh, I was just, I was honored. With co-signs from the legendary Quincy Jones and Eminem, Bellion has written for Ava Max, Camila Cabello, Halsey, and most recently, the Jonas Brothers. At the age of 19, he decided to drop out of college and focus on writing professionally. And since then, his true impact has been measured by the lives he's changed along the way and his passion to create more than just catchy songs. With multiple Grammy nominations and millions of records sold, Bellion has influenced many artists and is responsible for changing the sound of music. And if you're a huge fan like me, maybe you're wondering what the studio sessions of your favorite artists are like. What is the process like when you hear a song come in from John? Is it coming to you fully flesh? Are you getting lyrics written down? Can you just explain the process? Well, sometimes it'll it'll be really close to what I'm feeling, but not all the way. And so we take kind of the bare bones and we readjust it and we make it kind of make more sense to my my life personally. Yeah. And sometimes it can hit kind of right on the money and there's not a lot that you need to change. Um, and I just kind of go in the booth and I or I live with the song for a bit, I sing it around the house, I connect with it, and then I go in the studio and I just, I record it. Bellion helped Bieber write 10 songs for that Justice album, which includes Die For You, Ghost, Holy, and the tribute song to Bieber's wife, Haley. And with Bellion assisting Bieber on such a purpose-driven album like Justice, that only means two things. That is timeless, and it will go on to impact future generations. And I commend Bieber for not being so wrapped in ego like many artists are, as he allowed space for a talented songwriter like Bellion to be himself. And because of this, he was able to give a different perspective to this album process. Am I too alone? Am I, am I bringing people along in the journey that are helping me? Or am I, am I getting in my head too much because I'm spending too much time alone? I believe changes in justice are a part of a new era for Justin Bieber. It reflects what he was going through in his life. And it was a revitalization period for him. And it was during a time where he needed community he needed salvation and he needed balance.
I believe that many music listeners can agree that industry secrets like ghostwriters and lesser known songwriters are not as much of a new concept in this era due to how songs are being registered publicly and with music industry information being so widely accessible. We all know that there are many talented songwriters that are behind the scenes that pour their heart out into making these songs. First of all, you have a huge fan base, wildly successful, and, and there's, there's still a part like, you're still kind of, I feel Unknown. like, yeah, the industry totally. secret. I believe that John Balian is one of the few fortunate ones that have received public recognition for his work with Justin Bieber and other popular artists. And if I can provide them with some sort of inspiration, that's really why I do it at the end of the day. Some may care to know who are the songwriters that help their favorite artists make the songs that are so beloved by their core fan base. It's important to shine a light on those that are kept in the shadows. When I get into the studio, these things are getting pulled out of thin air. Their messages, their vibrations, their whatever. The more I hear about John Billion talk about his process, the more I understand why Justin Bieber was so drawn to him. It makes sense. It's a match made in heaven. And the way I hear about him talk about his spirituality and the music making process, he doesn't think of himself as the owner of these ideas. He thinks of himself as the messenger and a higher power is responsible. I think that just more speaks volumes to the creative that I am. And that's what we should concentrate on, opposed to me being upset if they're inspired by the gifts I was given. It's, it's all good. It's, it's, it's just, it's not really about me. I think it's about just, just being gracious and appreciating my position and be able to do this for a living. And I want to pose this question to you out there who may be watching as an artist. Would you be able to write a hit song for a superstar artist like Bieber and be comfortable in knowing that some may not know who you are as the writer of the song or would you not care? And I want to pose this question out there to the fan who may be watching. For example, with John Billion being credited on nearly half of his Justin Bieber album, does knowing the songwriter behind the hits of your favorite artists make you look at the artists any differently? I doubt it, but I would love to hear what you think. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Stilo. I and the team have just created a Discord server and we would love for you to join. Now, if you're a, a content creator watching me, a YouTuber, streamer, podcaster, this is the place for you. If you're just a general music fan, you wanna have hot takes, debates, you know, send memes, be around friends and like-minded individuals, this is the place for you. If you're a songwriter, engineer, producer, you're an artist, this is the place for you. You're looking to get your music heard. This is the place for you. If you're a, a future music industry professional, making power plays, connecting people, you know you want to find an artist, you want to find a gym, this is the place for you. a and future digital marketers, future graphic designers, photographers, creatives, as well as business professionals. We are all in one community, and we would love to to have you if this is something you're interested in the link is in the description box below as well as the pinned comment we will see you